Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And in the spirit of checking out server operating systems, uh, we're going to be checking out one for Raspberry Pi 5 called Umbrel. So let's check it out. Now, Umbrel OS has actually been on my radar for quite some time since Raspberry Pi 4 because that's what it was originally created for. Now, you still can get the image for Raspberry Pi 4 and load it up, but we are testing this on a Raspberry Pi 5, which they do not have an image for yet, but you could still install it through their script, which is pretty much the same, but I think it uses a slightly little bit more resources than their uh, pre-built image. But with that being said, uh, this operating system is technically like a server operating system, um, mainly focused is for dockers now when i first heard about this back in i think 2020 it was primarily focused on cryptocurrency so i didn't really pay too much attention to it because where the focus was but now when i'm taking a look at it it's all about dockers it's got more programs it's actually got this one really cool program that i want to check out which is the llama gpt that will actually install on the raspberry pi so we're going to be looking at all those things now jumping onto the desktop this is their main website and again, you can install this in multiple places, not just the Raspberry Pi, but if you do install, they have the image for the Raspberry Pi, or you could run this little script. This is what I did to get this installed onto a Raspberry Pi 5. So first you do need to install base install 64 bit of um, bookworm for the Raspberry Pi 5 through the imager. So I'll, I'll show you. In the imager itself, if you choose the operating system, you wanna be able to choose other, and then choose the Raspberry Pi OS Lite 64 bit. Once you get that installed, you can run the script and it takes about like 10 minutes for it to install everything. And you'll be presented with this screen right over here saying everything is successful. So the install process for getting Umbrella installed is super easy. Just basically run this script. Now they do recommend having four gigs minimum at least for a Raspberry Pi 4 or even a Raspberry Pi 5. But if you want to install the Llama GPT, which is the app that I want to check out, you need at least a minimum of eight gigabytes just so you can run the models. This is open source. So you can actually go over to the GitHub and check out all the stuff that you need. And they actually been, like I said, around since around 2020. So right when uh, Raspberry Pi 4 launched, right at the end of 2019. So it's been around for quite some time now. Now, if you have any problems with this operating system, you can always look at the issue boards and see if they have resolved your matters over here. But otherwise, it is open source. You can grab all the source to see what's going on with it. Now, this is the desktop that you would see when you first start loading in programs. Now, you can go to their app store and they have a ton of stuff that they actually installed through Docker. There's still a few things that's missing, which I would say is almost required to become a full server, like network shares. You can't get anything like that unless you install your own Docker, but uh, otherwise, it has a lot of the features that you want, like Plex, Jellyfin, uh, Sonar, Radar, all that stuff that you want to turn into a media server, um, a bunch of stuff. So if I head over to all apps, you could see like I could scroll for a while. It's got a bunch of applications here that you that it's already pre-installed. Now, if there isn't enough that you want, there are community app stores where you just put in the URL and more apps will show up that other communities created just to fill up this list. Or what you can do is actually install uh, Portainer and then use my Pi hosted template and then you have another 200 apps and then you could turn that into a Samba server or Nixcloud or whatever you want, you know, adding more of a chance to add applications to Umbrel. But Umbrel really is just a really clean UI to help you manage and install stuff for your Raspberry Pi 5. But like I said earlier, one of the coolest things that I wanted to check out was this, the Llama GPT. This app's installed right away. I didn't have to do any interaction with it. All I had to do was just hit install. And it does have some stuff over here regarding like what you should be using. Uh, Llama GPT is optimized for Umbrella Home, generates words as fast as three words per second. Now on a Raspberry Pi 4 with eight gigs of RAM, it generates one word per second. Performance can vary depending on which apps I have installed already, but I'm using Raspberry Pi 5, which is double the speed of Raspberry Pi 4. So at least I think I could get maybe two words per second, but I wouldn't know because they don't use the same um, web GUI as text generation web UI. So it doesn't actively uh, spell out the words, but we'll be checking this out in a second. But, but to jump back into the app store, there's a ton of things you could download. And if it, it's so easy, like if I'm going to install, say Jellyfin, I'll just hit install, give or take a few minutes or however long it takes to download everything, like from Docker's point of view. And that is it. It will install and then you could just open it up right away. So I'm going to let this go for a few minutes and then I'll show you what I mean. Now, heading back into the main screen or the settings, there isn't much to tell you 
uh, about system status. It doesn't tell you how much CPU usage there is. Uh, it does tell you how much storage I'm using. I am I do have this installed on an SSD using a USB 3, but otherwise it doesn't have as much information as some other systems that I've seen before. Now this mainly reminds me of uh, Casa OS, which is similar to loading dockers, gives you a nice front end GUI just like this, but the Casa OS actually has applications to turn it into more of a, a Samba server, network server, has more statistics for uh, your system stats and everything. So I do find that Cast OS is a little bit cleaner in trying to see what's going on with your system stats. But unfortunately, I don't think Cast OS will work on the Raspberry Pi. You can probably install it on the Raspberry Pi, but it won't have all the apps that you see here installed onto the Raspberry Pi because not all of them are ARM compatible when they're making their template stores. But back to Umbrella. Now that I installed, uh, what did I install? Right here, Jellyfin. I could click on the app and it'll load right up. And this is running right off my Raspberry Pi 5. Now I'm not gonna go through the settings of this, but you get the idea of how you could just load up apps and um, get your Raspberry Pi working right away just by a few clicks. Now the most interesting part was this Lama GPT, and this is something I wanted to play with. Now when you first start, you do have this little grid. I've actually never really played around with this program, but I might wanna install this on something else later and down the future because it seems very promising. So here I could actually set how precise I want and how creative I want. And I'll just leave it at one. And I could say, what is the weather today in New York? Let's see. Now, I don't know how many words it's gonna generate. I don't know how long this is gonna take, but it is working its brains out, I could tell you that. And since it doesn't actively refresh each word, like text generation, web UI, I wouldn't know when this ends. I just gotta wait until this says, doesn't say stop generating. And there we go. So the weather in today in New York is sunny, high of 72 degrees and low of 60 degrees. There's only a slight chance of rain during the day. Now this is completely wrong because it's snowing outside, but you get the idea. It does generate something that uh, should spit out that is AI. But all in all, it does work. And you could see, like I could install a lot of stuff over here. I go to the app store, look up specifics. Now, if I go into Bitcoin area, there is a lot of stuff just for Bitcoin alone. That's how come I, it, I when I first heard about this operating system and a lot of the stuff for uh, cryptocurrency, it's just because I, I see a lot of development for cryptocurrency, for Umbrella, for Raspberry Pi. It's not a bad thing. It's just not what I would use my Raspberry Pi for. So I never really took the chance to review this, but now it's getting to a point where we're installing a lot more home automation applications or um, Jellyfin and stuff like that. And it's being added into Umbrella and starting to look really good, especially if you got a Raspberry Pi 5 where it can handle the task. It's actually not bad. Now, one of the things they don't have here is the ability to add your own Docker. There's no area where you could just hit the plus button and add Docker. Uh, if you do need to add your own stuff, you do manually have to SSH into this prompt. And then like, if I go to Docker PS, you could see it will show you all the Dockers that it's running. Even the website's running on Docker, but Llama is running on Docker. All this is running on Docker. It does have Docker Compose if you need to use that as well, but there is no area on the actual website where you can actually add your own Docker through uh, manual configurations. So if you do need something that is not on here, either you could look for someone who created a community app store URL, or you would have to manually do it through the SSH or through the prompt over here. Overall, the underlining fact is it's still using Bookworm as its base. So if you need to install anything Debian related, you still can. And if you do need to uh, do manual approaches to adding dockers or settings like that, you do have to go into the SSH shell. So the GUI doesn't have everything for you, but it does help you manage everything in a nice UI. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you guys have run into any issues or anything, there is an issue board that you could check out to see if they resolve your problem. Otherwise, I didn't run into any problems. Installing it on the Raspberry Pi 5 worked just like a charm. And I got the Lama GPT working right away. So it was pretty cool. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.